Okay, here we go. Public. I'm Dutch. Jules here. Konnichiwa. Diron desu. Dozo. And welcome to another one of our world famous and trademarked drink throughs. And in this episode, we are going to drink through as much of the Nika lineup as we could get our hands on. And it's a lot of whiskey, guys. I think this is uh, the same number of whiskeys as we drank in our uh, Johnny Walker drink through. So we got seven whiskeys from, from Nika here. We've got Nika Days. We've got um, the two distillery specific ones, the Yoichi and the Miyagikyo. <laughs> say, that, say that three times fast. Miyagikyo. Miyagikyo. Miyagi. Just say Miyagi. Miyagi. Kyo. Kyo. Miyagi. Kyo. There you go. Uh, we've got the uh, coffee grain and coffee malt. We've got the Takatsuro pure malt. And we've got the from the barrel for seven amazing whiskeys. And guys, you know what? Ooh. I've been holding out on you. Because I actually have an eighth. But I worked really freaking hard and I got us. No, no, way. Way. Anika 12. Anika. How the heck did you get that, dude? No. You don't want to know what I had to do to get this bottle, guys. <laughs> Sold he your would soul. Do anything. I would do anything to get this. Were and you down I did, on your knees? But wow. I got it. Wow, dude. Nika Amazing. 12. On the end there. Let's get a quick look at the box here. Look at that. 12 year old. We're not Nika. worthy. Nah, you should do that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a close up of all of them, but we'll, we're going to do this one twice. Wow. Because this took a lot of effort to get my hands on. Amazing. Wow. Um, you know, Jules, I know you and I Easy. drank this in Easy. Europe yeah. not yes. too long ago. Oh, I mean, it was a year ago, actually. Yeah, exactly. Almost a year exactly. Ago. And uh, I really have been trying to get my hands on a bottle of it, and wow. I finally got it. So we're actually going to drink eight. Amazing. Eight bottles of Nika. Damn. I mean, we're not going to drink the whole bottle, but we're going to drink no, we're drinking the whole bottle. So, let's get our glasses, Woo, well and done. let's get tasting, and let's kick things off with Nika Days. Easy peasy. Nika Days. So this is a rather new release. I, I think it was released overseas first. You guys, I mean, this is their smooth and delicate blended whiskey. Um, to me, this... Seems like their version of Toki, Centauri Toki. You think it's Toki or really? the Hibiki Harmony? So this is a mixer? I don't know. I, it's almost in between the two. It's very light colored, at least. And it's cheaper than a lot of the other ones. This one clocks in, I think I got this bottle for $30 or $40. Mm. Um, I don't know what the MSRP is exactly. Um, and it, it seems to be in kind of a weird place. Mm. You know, if you look at the rest of the Nika lineup. Mm. Yeah, this is... Um... I think this was the uh, blend, right, of uh, grain malt, grain and malt, the coffee grain whiskey, the Miyagi Kyo malts, the coffee malt whiskey, and the Yoichi malt. So they, it's got a lot going it's got on. A lot, there. Yeah. That's why I thought, you know, is this mm. like the harmony? Well, you know what I think it is. I think this is more towards Toki, and then the Takatsuru is more like harmony. If I if I were to guess, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So. I don't know, man. Flavor okay, profile, so, so if completely you think that different this is like Toki, Toki. This is no. different. No, this is, way the nose different. is way better. Way this different from way Toki. Way different. Even the palette. This is much better than Toki. Even the palette. Right. Exactly. Very different. Uh, better this than not, harmony. This does not need to be a mixer. No, maybe not. Not really. I feel like this could be a highball whiskey, or you could enjoy it neat. This is almost like more like a like a base level bourbon. Like a Jim Beam or a Four Roses or a Makers. Like this is something you could do either way. Right. Yeah. This is not something where you're going to sit and try to think about this. Yeah. Like, this is you watching TV, uh, you know, talking with friends. A background. Having, background you know, whiskey. Right. Having some food. You know, you're yeah. eating pizza, hot dogs, and, you know, you're having, it's a, it's a warm summer breeze outside. You're having a Nika day. 
Well played, sir. Well played. No, poorly played. Yeah, I thought it was excellent. This is, I mean, I feel like a, a day drinking this would be awesome. This yeah, it's is really tasty. So it is tasty. Wouldn't you say that this is just basically um, kind of muted Japanese whiskey, where nothing is really punching through, nothing is yeah. like hitting you in the yeah. face. It you know, has, it's, like, it's like it's like Hibiki Harmony, but everything is turned down just a little. Right. Bit. The the volume is yeah. really turned uh, down. It's like it's been limited. Right. Yeah. Toki, I think the complexity is so narrow. This one has a little yeah. bit more. Better than but, Toki. But oh, very muted. Definitely right? better than Toki, right. but not better than Harmony. Yeah, so uh, Harmony, like this, Nika, uh, Days, not like that. Money. No, it's, you know. I mean, it's hard to know if it's harmonious because it's so muted. I agree. It's, very, it's very, very soft. So, I mean, very, I, I or maybe that's the Harmony. This very, is 80, 80 proof, 40% oh. alcohol, so on the low end. Low end. Um, I mean, I, I actually really like the bottle design. It looks very cheerful. It looks like it came out of an anime. Where they're like, hey, let's drink some whiskey. Mika, Mika. <laughs> you have not watched enough anime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but... Sailor uh, Moon days. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't really classify that as the anime I watched, but okay. <laughs> I would. Let's move on to, uh, what is this, the Miyagi-kyo? Yes. Let's get some fresh classes. Miyagi-kyo. Miyagi do. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Miyagi Kyo. Miyagi Kyo. Miyagi do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so bad. Uh, this is one of the single malts. So, this is one of the two uh, Nika distilleries. And this is malt only from this particular distillery, the Miyagi Kyo. Or Miyagi Kyo, as Miyagi likes to say it. And I don't know how to say it correctly, I will admit. <laughs> I'm saying it like uh, like a proper American. Um, I, you know, I don't know a lot about these two distilleries. Um, Dylan, do you have any more info? Yeah, it's Miyagi Kyo. <laughs> it's one of the and distilleries. That's a wrap. It's one of the distilleries. Well, maybe we should read the bottle. I'm just here to drink. Um, this is built Ooh. close to the site in the mountains of Sendai to contrast the first distillery, which was the Yoichi. So we're actually drinking juice from the second distillery. Yeah. Um, it is a less peaty malt distilled in a pot, in a pot, still pot? heated indirect steam. Um, elegant freeness and a distinctive aroma with a sherry cask influence. Did so, you turn British? I did. Wow. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. We've... Full disclosure, this isn't our first episode we've recorded today. <laughs> Nor is it the second. <laughs> no, yeah. So so let me let me just kind of Well the nose is totally different. Yeah. Uh, straight talk from Dylan here. Okay. Lay it on us. Uh, yeah. So I own both the Miyagi Kyo and Yuichi, and I've had it for a very long time. And I gotta say, between the two, um, Miyagi Kyo is probably my favorite. Uh, just because. I was about to say Yuichi is mine. <laughs> really? Um, it's because if I want the that peat, I move on to Scotch. Okay. So okay. if I if I'm doing Japanese, I want a certain flavor profile, and I want that. And so I get that from Miyagi Kyo, and I feel like right now with the price the way it is, I think it's you know something worth thinking about and having on the shelf. I think you'll enjoy it. I, I enjoy this. I mean, there's every. I mean, there's what's not to enjoy? There's sweet. There's good. briny. There's uh, fruit. There's earthiness to it. It's it's full bodied. I think any scotch drinker is going to sip on this and say that I can find something I like here. Yeah. So how would you compare this to say Hakushu? It's less crisp. Hakushu to me is is like it's crisp, it's refreshing. This is almost sweeter, almost a little richer in some ways. I was going to say richer, creamier, almost creamier, a yeah. little less um, also less zest. It's I like having like, like Hakushu a had more zest than Like me. this is like a, a fattier steak. Yeah. Hakushu is like a Almost like a like a steak salad. I don't know. You know, it's like it's mm. got some heart to it, but it's it's lighter. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the Hakushu is like a porterhouse. And this and this That's not lighter. <laughs> this is like a porterhouse <laughs> drenched in butter. No, 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 no. I think garlic that, butter. I think that's like porterhouse. What this is, is that they got a porterhouse, but they cut out the filet component 
and that's mm. what you're eating only. Mm. So Interesting. It, it, and, and if you, you know, if you like the slightly mm. tougher, a little bit more firmer, that's Yoichi to me. I, I, I really feel like mm. if I wanted yeah, to, yeah. and that's why I can't eat porterhouse with this. Mm. This like, is too much. This is too much. I think I would, I would go It's for, pretty intense. I would say it, it, it might work really well with like a filet. But it's more fish, chicken, um, pasta, pasta, Italian food. It's pretty robust. I mean, I, I think it's got a lot of flavor. Very sweet for Very right? sweet. Fruit. Very, I mean, you can taste that sherry. Influence. Summer fruit, um, a little bit ripe. You yeah. know, this is not cooked. It's not cooked yeah. for yeah. sure. Wow. Very interesting notes mm. there. Let's move on to the Yoichi. Please. Lice. All right, guys, let's move on to the Yoichi. So this is the other single malt from Nika that you can get here in the U.S., the, the single malt Yoichi. This is from the Yoichi Distillery, which is which was actually the first Nika Distillery. Um, is that a prefecture? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love having Jules here, but 90% of the time I just tune him out. Pretty useless on the show. So uh, Yoichi is thought to be uh, the peated, the peated, okay. uh, the peated distillery. Should we, should we see what it says on the bottle? Sure. There's actually a good amount of literature on the bottles here. It's in English. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Masataka Takatsuru chose Yoichi because of the similar environmental conditions to Scotland, which is where he went to go learn how to make mm. whiskey. So. Uh, if you ever want to learn a little bit more about that, you can see our special on Japanese whiskey. We'll try to link it up somewhere over there over Dylan's head. Um, this has pleasant peaty notes and smokiness originating from the traditional direct coal-fired distillation, as well as a briny hint delivered by the sea breeze during the aging process. So let's see if we can pick any of that out. You can totally pick it out. Well, I haven't even tasted I haven't even smelled it yet. <laughs> You've tried been, this before. I know I have. The peat the pea pea is, is there. definitely there, it's there. right? I, I think... Is it as much as an average, let's say, peated I'm scotch? Kind of I don't think so. No, that you prefer I, the Miyagi over this. It's because what I'm. Sh this is really nice. Yeah, yeah but, but this is really, really nice. nice. <laughs> Look, I'm kind of shocked. Actually, I, I, I mean, I get it. I, I gave guess you this want as a gift. To... I gave this as a gift because I think most people will think this is what you would expect in a whiskey. Yeah. For me, in my bar, I mean, listen, guys, come on. Okay, straight talk from Dylan. <laughs> We have a lot of liquor, okay? So, so it's a huge collection. And so in order for it to kind of gain a place in your personal bar, it really has to stand There's out. There's no liquor bottles back there. It really <laughs> needs to stand out. Shameful. And Yoichi, Yoichi doesn't make the cut. I'm sorry, but Miyagi-kyo, if I'm thinking Nika, if I had to pick the two, I'd pick the Miyagi Kyo. That's shocking. Because Yoichi, I'm already thinking, okay, all right, even Pete, do I want Pete? I'm going for the Pete bombs. I'm going for the Isla. Mm. I'm going for the Scotch. No, I'm going for this different is experience, so man. Different well experience. Well balanced. Yeah, the this balance is so here. well balanced. I'm not saying. Well, okay, I'm not saying you it's bad. You know what? Bad. I bet you. I am this not was a saying it's bad. Than you would. Guys, I am not saying it's oh, bad. Oh, you're saying it's it terrible. Is, it is delicious. <laughs> no, it is delicious. Well, let me let me put it this way. Like, I mean, okay, I think if you tend towards the sweet. Then go for the Miyagi Kyo. Yeah, but I this mean, feels so turned Kyo. down for Dylan, is my point. That's all. It does. The, the Oichi is, to me, yes, it tastes more like scotch. Right. I agree with you. You're not, you're not wrong. I, I, found, I just find the Yoichi to be a little bit more balanced. Yeah. I, look, I'm just giving you my, my personal anecdote. Like, when I have all my liquors there, if I'm thinking about this, my hand reaches for a scotch. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then if I go, you know, I, I feel like more Japanese, slightly sweeter. I go Miyagi Kyo. Interesting. You know what? It, it, honestly, if I were to pick something to tell somebody, hey, this is what a Japanese whiskey is like, I, I think I would tend toward of, of the of the Nika. I would go towards the blends. I would go mm. towards the from the barrel and the the Takatsuru pure malt. Mm. Personally, but <laughs> and those are those are good. Those are great. So yeah. we'll get there. But let's move on now to the uh, what, what's next? Coffee. The coffee grain. Coffee grain. All right, guys. And gals. And gals. And gal. Specifically the gals. This is, because it's pink. Is that sexist? Yes. Okay, but... sorry. <laughs> Before you do that. Uh, okay. Next up is the uh, <laughs> Nika Coffee. Oh, guy. 
<laughs> the Nika Coffee Grain. We're fading. Um, a wonderful bottle here. This has been out for a while. This is, um, you know, when, when you started to see the age stated stuff disappear, we saw these, this, this pink label and the yellow label Nika come out. The coffee grain, I believe is a corn based whiskey. Um, coffee, by the way, refers to the coffee still, which was invented by Aeneas coffee. It is a vertical still basically not a pot still. And this is the one that they make with um, a corn and corn based gra grain blend, I think. And um, do you have anything else on it? That's exactly what it says on the website. Awesome. I didn't even read the label for that. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, I mean, I've had this before. I know you guys have had this before. Um, it's pretty easy to find. I would say price point. What is this? Like 50 bucks? 50. Ish. You can find it a little bit less if you're lucky, maybe a little more if you're unlucky. Whoa, right? Oh, well, the nose different. is the nose is way Very more delicate. Very different. Way nose is way more delicate. Wait to get the palate. Very different. Wow. Right? Different turn. This is really interesting because I, I actually have never done it this way. Yeah, I haven't either. And this is punching me in the face. Different. But this is like completely left different, field, dude. Completely. Wow. This like, doesn't you know taste. What this is like. Mm. There's almost a nuttiness to this, but it's oh, yeah. like you, you took like the Jim Beam, Evan William nut, nuttiness, and you mixed it with a very sherry heavy scotch. Okay, I, <laughs> it's interesting that you brought that up because my analogy is, I feel like I am drinking like a Jim Beam with a lot of grain, and then here it's weeded bourbon. Like it's completely <laughs> different. And like this the flavor profile is yeah. very different. And there's this weird dark, like interesting, kind of so flavor different. that kind of kicks you as as it comes in. This is very, I, I mean, I, I never realized it until we compared it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. this is very sweet. This is kind of like scotch. This is, I mean, it's, I, almost, it's almost like, like it's, it's almost like we had dessert before the meal. No, this and is like, no, this is so savory. This is like guys. a light bourbon. It's like you strip out all the harshness of a bourbon and you just take the sweet Yes. And you mix it with like a, a sweet scotch. You're, you're stripping the well, wood. You're, you're yeah. stripping away the oak. You're stripping the dark honey. Yeah. You get you get a little bit of that sweet, like almost like white and brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. and maybe a mm -hmm. little bit of peat. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, man. I mean, but it's. So this is, this is, it's so uh, bourbon drinkers, bourbon drinkers will love this. Actually, no, I'm, uh, check that about the peat. There's no peat. I mean, there's no peat. Yeah. But bourbon drinkers, they will love this. This is sweet corn. You can taste it. Hmm. I wonder mm. if it's a, it'll be a little bit weak. It's more savory. A little that. bit uh, yeah. too thin for a bourbon. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're, okay, I, I would say this. If you are a casual bourbon sipper, like somebody that loves to just sip on like a Jim Beam or an Evan Williams or something, this is got a lot of that, but I think it's got a lot more flavor. It's stamped up more than that, though. Yeah. There's not, not a higher proof, necessarily, yeah, not but, like more, proof, but just more, more oomph to it. Yeah. Yeah, what no, other proof? Is this nothing, 90? This there, is 90, yeah. 45%. There's nothing really uh, off-putting. No. Um, so, it's just different. I don't know. Not, I don't know if I could recommend this over this. <sighs> They're very different. They're very different. Yeah. So, so, so what I would say is, okay, to a bourbon drinker, I would recommend this, the, the, the coffee grain. To a scotch drinker, I would probably... Okay, if you like the sherry yeah. scotch, I would recommend the Miyagikyo. If you like the peated, regular peated scotch, I would say the Yuichi. Okay, I, I'll, I'll buy that. I don't know what about this one. Oh, this is the, this is the people who uh, want the ready to drink. If you want it on the rocks, go here. Not RTD, <laughs> no way. I don't know. Uh, this is really... This is better so than I different. remember. So I mean, different. I've had this, but you're right. Having it in this order changes my impression Completely of it. different. Yeah. So different. I, this, this stands out. It's amazing. Yeah, really good. Which mm. makes me even more excited to move on to the uh, the coffee malt. So yeah. let's get some fresh glasses. Okay, well let's move on to the uh, the sibling of the coffee grain, the coffee malt Nika. This is the yellow label, also 90 proof. Um, the coffee malt is also in a coffee still, which is a vertical column still. Invented by Aeneas Coffee. This one is, I believe, 100% barley. Malted barley. Malted yes, barley. So a very different mash bill than the coffee grain. Um, and, you know, from my recollection, you guys want some taint? You want me to taint your palate sure. a little bit? 
this one always struck me as much more fruity. Hmm. So, I always got like a chocolate banana on this one. I mean, right now, um, I think malted barley is being used in very creative ways. Malted barley, I don't know if you realize this, but you know, the folks doing a lot of the rye um, experimentation, they're using a lot of malted barley in different percentages and the way they <laughs> ferment. I, I mean, I think this is really an interesting drink because again, this is 100% malted barley. Oh my gosh. See what they can do. The fruit. And oh. The fruit, I mean, it's it's so the fruit, fruit on the nose. I mean, it's, it's banana and chocolate. Mm. Banana, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh, this is so, again, very, very different. Yeah. So different than the coffee grinder. So I would yeah. say, I would say this is kind of like this in terms of the sweetness. Yes. Now, I want I want to know, how is this different though than this in terms of sweetness? So this meaning yeah. the, the, the Mika coffee malt versus the, the Miyagi Kyo. Like... Both are very fruit forward, very bright, very um, like edible flowers. You know what's interesting? Ripe fruits. This is more crisp. This Ooh. has more of that dark fruit to me. This has more of like a banana tropical fruit to me. Yes. Interesting. This is this is the Caribbean. Yes. This yeah. is bananas. It's, it's tropical. It's pineapple. This is so tropical. I, 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 I would say if I had to describe one fruit, it would be pineapple. Like very yeah. rich pineapple mixed in with banana. I'm I'm in a pen a pineapple pen. Uh, I'm thinking I'm mm. thinking Hawaii. Oh my god! Yeah, this it's is Hawaii. so freaking tropical. It's like a it's like a you mixed a a, a a a pineapple with a mango, but it's more more pineapple in that mix. Yeah, and 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 you splashed in some some liquor. <laughs> what's amazing about this is that some of the flavor profile it gets hints of like what I what I like in rum. Yes. Like the rum, where you yes. get a little of that banana yes, and the that's pineapple. What it is. This is what the difference is. This really stands out as a as oh. a the um, the, so the coffee malt as a tropical banana. So different. Banana pineapple. Banana pineapple. That's what yeah. It is. Banana pineapple chocolate. Pen. I mean, actually, for There's me, it's, I feel like, like it's chocolate. more of a like a jammy kind of thing too, versus like actual just the fruit itself. It's unctuous. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a richness. There's some richness it's to weird. it. It's, it's That's like, what I'm saying. Like jammy so, kind of. So thing. here's the thing I want to draw. It's like pineapple like, jam. When you think of like a rich sweetness, a lot of people think of like that caramel, dark, like charred sugar. This is not that. This is like no. a really gelatinous white yeah, sugar. Exactly. Or creme like a, from creme creme no, it's no, 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 not, not creme, not that dark. dark. I don't say like a, like a marmalade on a biscuit kind of thing. Yeah, it's more you like that. I mean, like that. It's like a, that's it's what like I'm saying, like jammy. It's like, like a white syrup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Some white. white that's what I feel. It's more like creme fresh. <laughs> okay. All <laughs> on right. <that> note. <laughs> on that note, let's move on to the pure malt. All right, our final, not our final, our next. Wow, we had three more to go. I'm, I'm losing my mind here. The next one is the pure malt, which is also known as the Takatsuru pure malt. Now there are age stated versions of this that used to exist. Um, I actually came across a 21 year old, but it was far too expensive for me to consider buying. Uh, but this one, the non-age stated pure malt is pretty ready, readily available out there. You can probably find it for 60 to 70 bucks, I would say. Oh, 79 I've seen it higher, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah higher, yeah, I mean, if you get, I got it on, on sale, but this is, I mean, it's an homage to uh, the original, I mean, the guy that came up with Nika, the guy that went to Scotland to learn how to make whiskey, came back to Japan, um, Mr. Takatsuru, and this is his... And married uh, the Scottish... And he married a Scottish woman. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, miniseries on Japanese TV, if you want to check it out. I'm not lying. Really? Um, so Netflix. Now this one, I mean, I know we've all had this. Yeah, we talked about Taketsuru San's, you know, his journey. His journey. Uh, I, I personally really enjoy this whiskey. Um, I think it's it's such a well blended whiskey. I poured myself way too much because we have a lot of whiskey to drink here. But I'm gonna. Do oh my, best. my god, it's so good. I mean, on the nose, it's like a blend of everything. Mm. That Isn't we just it? Tasted. It's a. I, I can't. <laughs> you know, we we sometimes Sugar, talk about spice, everything yeah, nice. Well, we we kind of talk about sometimes like, the, oh, it's a mm. marriage between blah blah blah. This, this really is, is, this really really is. I mean, like this is amazing. I mean, uh, for the folks at home, I mean, we're having a really good time. First of all, yeah. <laughs> this is. By really, the way, that's everybody. Yeah, this is really <laughs> fun. This is really fun, and I gotta say, oh my gosh, I, this wow. kind of 
tasting mm. is amazing because now it's like a culmination to yeah. this. We oh built up gosh. right to the yeah. bright spot. Oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah, dude. This mm. is so interesting. Oh. It is this on steroids mixed with this on steroids with All just the this. right dashes of All these of two. Oh, to like this. yeah. Accentuate the parts. I, I would say, you know, the stuff that I like, they basically took the stuff that I like here, here, and here. The, the coffee and then the Miyagi But this, this is on the finish. You get a little bit of this on the finish. Uh, let me see. <laughs> There's a Still little bit. freaking Like, good. it'll come back. It's like, good. 10 seconds later. I mean, I'm getting all kinds of amazing flavors. Cinnamon. I don't know. To I'm not getting, I'm in, I'm not getting that scotch finish. It's very subtle. I'll, I'll admit, it's mostly these two for me. Mm. I do think it has a kind of a... a Homage to this flavor profile because remember this is it's more tropical yeah. and I'm seeing I'm that, that hits you first right yeah but yeah. I I do think there's that rich ripe fruits um, summer fruits that are I get this more on the nose honestly mm. on the nose it's there in spades yeah on the, on the palate it's yeah. more I would agree with that the the coffee I definitely don't it's not it's not the pineapple forward no. it's not pineapple forward it's not banana forward it's not the tropical fruit but forward. on the palate you can start picking it out. It's still there. It's still there. I don't know. I, get so. a more, I still get a more on the nose, I think. Yeah, me too. On the palate, mm. I get all It's almost like it's, it's uh, there. cooked pineapple. <laughs> oh, it's such it's, a... You know what I mean? No, pineapple, pineapple on the grill. There's, there's pineapple, pineapple on the there. grill. There's pineapple there. Mm. Yeah. It's such a wonderful blend. It's such you know, where a it's wonderful smoked out. blend. Oh, yeah. This it's really good. This has got so much depth of flavor. Yeah. Any whiskey lover should try this. Yes. yes. You Must. have to try Absolutely. this. Absolutely. I mean, I know people go crazy for the 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 from the barrel because it's the highest proof highest proof but this is such there's something amazing, special about this amazing blend something of something special the the blender the master blender obviously i mean they wanted to really make a statement what's the proof on that 43 so, oh, we're actually, so it's it's actually lower, lower. it doesn't but taste it punches it. way up it doesn't man. taste lower no. let me ask you compared to say hibiki harmony i prefer this i would agree yeah this blows it out of the water. I agree. Totally agree. On a different level. On a different level. On a different level. Way better. Way, Way yeah, better. Yeah, huge. Mega. <sighs> yeah. Wow, it's so good. It's so good. I could, oh man. I can drink this on the hand. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. Yeah. This is mm. fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. All right, well, we have to keep going, guys. Uh, let's move on. Now, do we want to do the foolproof or do we want to do the 12 next? Because no, the foolproof no, might blow our pallets out. Professional here. Let's go. <laughs> He's a professional. Okay, let's get the foolproof going. Woo. All right, moving on to the little square bottle here known as Nika. So stout. From the barrel. A very cool looking bottle, I gotta admit. Um, now this was, I believe Jim Murray named this as one of his whiskeys of the year, maybe two years ago. Is he, He's sexist. We can't talk about him. Right? <laughs> Is that, he got canceled. Is that right? I don't know. Who? Well, anyway, you should listen to our podcast about that. <laughs> Great segue. <laughs> if we can put a link, we will. I don't know if we can put a link out, but we will yeah, if we can. Uh, we'll put it in the comments if nothing else. Um, Nika from the barrel. This is basically, I mean, they tried to do like a foolproof version of Nika. Yeah. Um, it co clocks in at 51.4% alcohol, which if you're for, a, for a Japanese whiskey, that's, that's, right, dude. Look, that's really high. Yeah. That's really high for a Japanese whiskey. Mm. Yeah, yeah. For a bourbon fan, that's not very high. I can't wait for, Dylan, for you guys nothing. to try that's my water. collection. Um, <laughs> now this, I will say, I hate the bottle. I love it and I hate it. I love the way what? it looks. I love that's the way great. it looks. Look how refined it but is. But it's so hard to pour. For somebody like me that spills like crazy, like how do that's I true, pour this? Like I gotta get all You can't really see from behind the bottles, but like there's a nice puddle here from that just pours. What are you doing? All you have to do is put the glass. I don't like pouring like that. A bottle, you should be able to pour it without touching the glass. That's my philosophy. This has got enough, it's low enough that I can do it. All right, all right. Don't plate the hair. Don't plate the hair. Wow. <laughs> Rewind. Wow. Don't <laughs> hate the player. Wow. Don't plate Just the hair. Just hate on me. Put that on. Hmm. I mean, the nose is. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lead. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think you have to reset your palate. Yeah, yeah. Disappointed. Definitely. This is a different spirit. This is different. It's very, very different. Um, I think. Disappointed. I think it's more. You know, ironically, this is. <laughs> I like this a lot. 
it's it's much more raw. Yeah. Uh, very. Um, this is what you drink if you want to be punched in the face with Japanese whiskey. It's no, not that it's not that of high. A, of a, of a, That's yeah, why. I mean, the, like the flavors punch through. Uh, there's certain things that are accentuated. I feel more. like there's a lot missing here. No. No, it's this is really nice. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm having some difficulty in like categorizing I this particular. Don't, dude. It feels uh, muted all around. Particular dram relative yes. to the others. Relative to the others, I prefer the pure malt. Yeah, I me definitely too. prefer the pure malt. I'm with you there. Yeah. Even well, the pure malt proof. I, I, yeah. yeah. I this is not. I would well say. Balanced. I would no, say the reason. I mean. The it's... reason why you would pick the pure malt is because of the complexity. Yeah, absolutely. This is certainly less complex relative to this. But at a higher proof. What I what I appreciate about this is that you know, when you know, look, the uh, straight talk from Dylan. <laughs> The reality for us in just buy more okay, time. not us. <laughs> reality for me in, in doing this is the experience, right? I want the new experience. I want to experience all these liquors. I want to try what the master distillers can do. The the Nika whiskey is not about the master distiller. It's about the the pure dram that comes out of that distillery. And I just want to taste what that's like. It's like I want to go to the the distillery tour. And just give me the give me the thing out of the barrel. I just yeah. want to taste it, and that's what you're getting. That's here. what you're getting. So yeah. in that regard, it's hard to compare it with some of these other blended ones. This where is, this is the wild stallion. This yeah. is the stallion that's been tamed. Yeah, I mean, I go to the distiller and I say, hey, can you can I just this please feels more tame than this? Man. No, I would love to taste the white dog. Just know. give me the white dog and I'll drink it. Right? Most people won't do that. For me, that's an experience. I just want to taste what that looks like. And yeah. then if there's a random barrel, can you just get, get a whiskey thief and just get, just pour it in here? I just want to taste it. That's what I get here. And so that's why if I wouldn't, so I wouldn't bring down, this out. Though. No, I wouldn't bring this so out. so turned down. I wouldn't bring this out in, in like a regular, uh, you know, if somebody came in and said, oh, let's enjoy. I wouldn't bring this out. I would bring this out like, um, what, what's the other one that we did? We said, oh, this is only for, like Cheetah. Like this is the cheetah for me, where I go. You, you're a you're a whiskey connoisseur. You want to see so what where, Nika's where would like? you put this in this tasting? Where would you where would you put that? I would. It would be like out here. Like okay. it would not be part yeah. of. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with yeah. you. I almost me too. Say, like you it's might so, even, yeah. You could potentially start with it. Yes, I agree. Yeah, uh, because it's like because then okay. then it's gonna kill this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're gonna destroy not only it's this. A it's this is very delicate. So this though, is much dude. more delicate. I mean, and I, you're gonna again with the progression we went through. I, I just it, I think it you just what, destroyed though, it on the on the nose. You really do get all of these flavors in here. These four, you do pick those up on the nose. On the palate, it just it's so muted. It's like you, they picked random flavors to punch through. It, it doesn't feel like it was it's, thought out. Like like yes. the way the, the pure yeah. malt feels like it was thought through. Yeah. This doesn't feel that like, way. It feels a little bit more raw. This is masterful, dude. This is the artist at work. This, no, I mean, yeah, you can tell it's the no, raw. This is the, this is the raw. Like, this is the it, like, unmolded I mean, it's, clay. It's this is the unmolded clay. Okay? Yeah, but it's almost disappointing with this progression. And this is Rocky Balboa. Okay? You, know what, you know what's really interesting? It, even though, even though, the, Rocky. Even Rocky though the, uh, the from the barrel is higher proof. It's more of a background bourbon than the pure malt. Yes. I would agree. I'm with you yeah. on that. If you I love agree. high proof, I completely if you love agree. high proof whiskey, you could sip on this in the background yep. at a barbecue and yep. just love it. Yeah. Love it. Yep. Every I'm sip of it, but yeah. you're not focused on it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you really wanted to focus on something, I would give <laughs> yeah, people this, true, this one requires this is full attention. This, yeah, is, this right. is Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. I Great love note to tea. move on to the final whiskey, the Nika 12. Yeah, hey. Okay, guys, moving on to Nika 12 year, the one that is impossible to find in the United States anymore, unfortunately. And you found it. Dutch worked really hard to get this for you guys. Look like at that. this. There's that. I, I, I was <laughs> furiously typing on the keyboard because I had to order it from the UK. Uh, Jules and I tried this last year in Prague. Um, we might even have Ooh. a picture of that. I don't know. If we do, I'll put it up. 12 year old from Nika. What a cool Look at that. looking That's bottle. That's a great looking bottle. What a Beautiful. great looking bottle. Oh, now, yeah. price point on this. Well, let's talk about the proof first. Proof, I believe, is 90. Ooh. Uh, 43, sorry. Oh. So, 86 proof. Um, well, I was able to get this all said and done. It was around 100. A little bit more. U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Um, when we were in Prague, I don't remember. I think we got a pour of it for less than 20. Yeah. Maybe around it had 20. To be less. It, was, um, you know, it was like 
10, 20 euros? 15. Yeah, it was, no, it was US zero. dollars. Oh. oh, around 20 euro, euro, US. Yeah. Um, so this is Nika Distillate, aged 12 years. Do we know the distillery? <laughs> we'll put it up here if we, if we do know. At this point, we can't. <laughs> like, I just want to try He's it. Like, I don't want to drink this. <laughs> let's just That's drink it. Good. I'm off the clock. Yeah, so let's just drink it. Because um, this is a drink through. This isn't a review. This is just a drink through. Oh, wow. Ooh, I, you know, the, I, I haven't even touched this. Oh, get and that the aroma, aroma. Is oh, yeah. coming at me. Oh, yeah. This is. Mm. Oh, wow. my God. It what is, is this? Oh, that's dude. age. What is this? That's maturity. Age. That is that this. is age. That's an age. Yep, that is age. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're back okay. to your normal viewing program. Holy moly. Okay. We're back. So first dude, of all, and at lower proof. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. First of all, okay, these guys it's, knock it's it out. This. Let's knock it out. Plus this. Oh yeah. Plus this. And crank it up. Plus this with just the tiniest bit of that. Yeah, it, yeah. Huh? I, I would say, yeah, it's it's definitely that. Mm. Oh my um, god, that's good. Oh wow! But an everyday supper is this. You know what I like? <laughs> I can keep going, man. This is you know so what I like? Good. It's so tasty. It's so good. The finish is amazing. It's so uh, good. I can still taste it. Yeah, oh, the finish, finish is amazing. Fantastic. Caramelly. Now I'm gonna like the creme brulee. Okay, we talk about the finish. Jeez. So you know what? The mm. banana is back. Mm -hmm. The banana is back. Dude, with creme brulee, man. Totally. Yeah, yeah, banana like is cuppa. back with oh, a banana sponsor. Oh yeah. Um, it's it's super long Ooh. finish. Um, so good. If for a twelve Oak. year. Oak. Oak, finally. The, the 12 year. You can taste the barrels. I, yeah. it, it tastes longer. It tastes it tastes like 14, 15. Oh, yeah. It yeah. tastes like 14, 15. Punches up. Yeah. No harshness, no, no burn, Dude, nothing. zero burn. Nothing. Like, I don't, I, I can't even taste Dude, the alcohol. Spice just right with the sweet. Oh. Controversial question. Then this Nika 12 versus the other Japanese 12 years that we have the Hibiki and Hibiki. the Yamazaki. You mean, you mean the, you mean the uh, Hakushu? Yeah, sorry. Hakushi sorry, 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. 12. Sorry. I think this. I think this. I think hold on, this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It, it, would be, it would make a great blind. Totally. But, I mean, this. But there's so much more happening in this. This is now. almost mm. somewhere in between the two. Yes. You know, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. It really is. It's between yeah. Hakushu and Yoichi. I, uh, I mean, sorry. Hakushu, Hakushu. and, um, and uh, uh, Yamazaki. Yeah. Uh, it's. it's uh, mm. you, you get a little of that robust. Um, mm. Flavors from the hukushu, you get the delicate, uh, flowery notes and the and the slightly ripe fruit yeah. of the yeah. Yamazaki. That's one to chase. Oh this is one God. to chase. This is so good. This is this is good, folks. Uh, um, I want to I want to make sure we kind of bring this back to reality, though. Like, what would you pay for that bottle? I would pay what you paid. Hundred bucks. bucks. I, I would pay. I would, I would, I would pay hundred bucks, bucks gladly. Bottle. No, you know what? I might punch up to one twenty even. Yeah. Yeah, I would punch up to one. I, I would maybe get 150 might be one limit. Ooh. Uh, 150. Yeah. yeah. So I, I said that I, I'm good. not. So, <laughs> okay, straight talk from Dylan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> segment here, by Straight the way. talk from Dylan. All right. <laughs> it's so, his own show. Remember last time in the Yamazaki segment? No. I said I would pass. Nobody remembers. Okay, fine. I, I would pass on the Yamazaki. All right, so... I lied. I actually bought another bottle of Yamazaki and another bottle of Hakushu. So, and now I regret it because I now wish I could trade. spend. Yeah, I wish I could spend that money on this. Yeah, I would spend one hundred and twenty-five dollars on this. Fantastic! You guys got to try this. I think I would pick this over the hundred. Well, guys, yeah. I think what you need to do is write a strongly worded letter to Nika. No, we need to not release this video <laughs> until I can get no, like ten of these. We need mass action. People writing to Nika yeah. saying, "Hey, guys, the stop doing all this. Demand. Just start releasing the twelve year again. Focus. Focus, guys. Focus. Even if sticky, you're off. Yeah. Come back the age next year it, with more. Age it to your delight, man. Get there. Amazing. And on that wonderful bombshell, after drinking eight whiskeys, I don't even know what's we going survived. on. Wait, 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 wait. We survived. Hold on. I have the mega drink. Oh, the oh, mega drink. That's right. I got one here. I've been pouring all my excess in here. I wasn't brave enough to do as many as these guys. Okay. But so look at this. I will look join this, in folks. the festivities. So I was so sad, you know, about kind of dumping some of the little leftovers finish. and stuff. And so I uh, put it in a mega one. Let's taste this. Hey, you guys didn't drink that much at all. You just poured light. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan likes this blend. My blend is awesome. Oh, this is good. 
My this blend's is... good too. But admit, I didn't do as many as you guys. I had the. Oh, it's really good. Zero. It's really good. Here, here's a fresh glass here. No. Yeah. Check out my blend. This is really good. This is really good. Let me try it. Wow. Right? Wow. It's good. It's basically. <laughs> Very similar 12 to mine. Here. <laughs> I actually like mine a little bit better. Oh, really? It's basically the 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having some technical laugh. difficulties over here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Made me laugh. I know, man. Oh. Sure, you guys want to make your own blends? Try it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Woo. This but was a these, great drink through, guys. Uh, this was our most ambitious drink through. We drank eight. This has almost. to be a new record, man. It is. I don't know that we're ever going to try to do eight again. I think we'll probably break it up into multiple ones we're next fading. time. But this we're was fading. a lot of fun. It's not bad. Jules, please take us out unreal, so we can stop. Unreal experience. Guys, comment below what you guys think. Hit the thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more mm. videos from Curiosity Public. Check us out on our podcast and all your favorite podcast uh, platforms. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe. Stay curious. You guys want to try this one? Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. Do you have another glass here? Yeah. E no. Actually, I'll kill this. It's <laughs> not <laughs> like we're going to finish it anyway. It's pretty good. It's a little bit different than yours, honestly. Yours is a little bit, uh, has a bite. It's a little bit, yeah. It's got mine's, a little, mine's a little bit more Yours has more bite. Yeah, mine's more mellow. Wow, what a good drink. Good job, here. guys. What a drink. Here, what a bargain. We should take a picture. Is this still recording? Mm -hmm. Can we get a yeah. picture of us? We're still recording. Like, like this? We survived the Nika drink through. Oh that was so good. I'm dude. still feeling good.